Welcome back to Untypical Me. Today we're joined by Mrs. Gloria Ita Ipeme, who is the president of the Touching Hearts Global Foundation. So we're going to find out from her what the foundation is about, the amazing work that they do, and how you at home can get involved with the charity. Thank you very much. Thank you. So please, can you tell us what inspired you to set up this foundation? It was actually uh, 1996 okay. in, in the fellowship that um, um, it came very strongly to me that I need to do something about what concerns me all the time, what okay. I worry about all the time. Okay. And I worry seeing children mm. uh, uncared for. Okay. I worry seeing women mm. um, uncared for. And I left that fellowship that evening, decided in my mind that I was going to set up a foundation. Mm. And um, true to form, I did. Oh, that's wonderful. So we're 21 years old. 21 years old. Okay, and what projects have you done so far? We've actually been extremely successful in rehabilitating a lot of women, okay. homeless women. Okay. Uh, we've, at a point in time, we had over 100 children in various orphanages across uh, Nigeria. Okay. Uh, that we've been able to sponsor them in the orphanages where they are. And of course, you have uh, those who don't fall within that category that we've also assisted. Okay. When you say rehabilitating the woman, what exactly do you help them? You see a woman today, and she's on the streets, and she mm -hmm. is um, battling to find a place to stay and with a child. Okay. You see her in another three months, she's mentally unstable. Mm -hmm. So what we've actually done to a large extent is see these women on the streets and actually get in touch with them. Okay. Um, provide for them in terms of um, uh, food. Partner with other organizations that have um, facilities where they can spend the night and they can okay. stay on and then put them there and they'll support them over the time. Okay. So do you provide accommodation for these women or do you just help them out getting jobs and mentoring them? Okay, we don't provide the particular homes. What we do is that we partner with those who have homes okay. and we ensure that they um, take care of, our, of the women in the homes, our women. Uh, we reunite them with their families sometimes. You would find those who are, who are unable to get back to their original homes okay. and we do, we do join them back to their families. Okay. So the children, the orphanages, you have actual orphanages where the children can stay in? Yes. Uh, we don't have orphanages, but we okay. partner with orphanages. Okay. We have several orphanages across the country uh, that we partner with. In other words, we have children in these orphanages that we sponsor. Okay. That's actually, it's actually very interesting because I find out a lot of people set up orphanages on their own so that we have lots of foundations in Nigeria. So it's good to know that you're working with orphanages that are already existing oh, yes. and not just setting up your own. So it's, it's, it's a very good yeah. platform. Actually. Yes, it is because um, what we find is that if you open an orphanage by mm. yourself, you are mm. engulfed in running that orphanage. Yes. and the children in that orphanage only. Mm. But when we open up our hands to different orphanages, mm -hmm. we see more children, Okay. Uh, we, we see more needs, different kinds of needs from mm -hmm. the orphanages, and um, you spread, the love is spread much more than one orphanage or two orphanages. We're dealing with tons and tons of orphanages. So what were you doing before you set up the orphanages? Are, are you doing that full time now, mm -hmm. or do you have another job? Incidentally, 21 years ago that I set this up, I was a full-time employee of um, a very large organization. So, okay. to a large extent, I could do so much at that point in time, but I had mm -hmm. people that were working with me okay. and, um, and uh, they were handling what uh, needed to be handled. Um, and um, I've left full employment now. Okay. I can't say I'm not employed because I've employed oh, of course, myself. Of course. Um, but I do have a bit more time for that now. Okay. And I have quite a number of staff. I have volunteers and we're trying to reach to, to different parts of Nigeria. Okay. So we are pretty much mm -hmm. busy. So where are you based in Lagos? Okay, we have an office in Dolphin Estate. Okay. Generously provided by one of the sponsors of the children. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the that's where we are physically. But like I said, we move around quite a bit to, the, to various orphanages, and uh, we've had a lot of support from the from the from the uh, populace in, in the Lagos area. And we continue to seek for more assistance okay. because there are lots and tons of children that need more. Okay. So can orphanages who need support contact you? Yes, they can. Of course, um, we are on social media. Okay. Um, and of course, um, people 
who know us, our friends and, and yeah. family and relatives, they reach out to the orphanages and say, listen, you need help, you come here. Okay. And you know, one of the things that uh, the relationship we have, we have with orphanages has provided also is the ability to uh, assist the management of, those, of, the, yes, of the orphanages. That's one of the important. things we're trying to do now is to organize uh, training okay. for staff within the orphanages uh -huh. uh, where we can put them all together and address some of the things that bother them who okay. are the caretakers okay. in addition to uh, to, to the children. Because okay. yes, so. sometimes one of the reasons that people are skeptical about donating to orphanages, they wonder, oh, are they going to give, are the gifts going to reach the children and all those concerns. So how do you tackle those kind yeah, of problems? Totally. Uh, I'll back up a little bit because one of the reasons why we decided to work with the orphanages is to address the issue of accountability. Ah, okay. because, um, because you have children in orphanages uh, does not explain the fact that there are tons and tons of children on the streets mm -hmm. who are worse off than those mm -hmm. in the orphanages that need our help. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we find it difficult to work with those ones because there is no accountability. So one of the things the orphanages must do with us is to sign with us, that they will okay. work with us uh -huh. and, work and, to your standards. and to our standards. Uh, on a quarterly basis, the, cho the, the children we sponsor write to their sponsors through us okay. oh, to say, I'm mm -hmm. this, I did this in school. And mm -hmm. So we work very closely with the orphanages, we visit them and then we look at our, you know, how our children are doing. But one of the things that uh, ache me, mm -hmm. ache my heart, is the fact that um, you go into an orphanage and you're looking after maybe three children, four yeah. children, five children. Yeah. An orphanage that has 50 children, yeah. 100 children. What happens to the rest of the children? Yeah. So one of our drives is to get as many sponsors as possible okay. and sponsor as many children because the more you give to an orphanage, the more the quality of care. Okay, so now talking about sponsors, how can those at home who are watching this help in bringing sponsorship for the firm? Again, one of the things that has um, encouraged us lately is people actually um, are very um, techno now. People go yes, online yes. and all that. So, I mean, you can easily uh, indicate your interest to sponsor a child on our website. Okay, what's the website? The website is the TG, uh, THGF uh, Foundation.org. Okay. The website will be in the description it, as well. Yes. Uh, so people will actually um, offer to sponsor children online. Okay. We do tons and tons of letters through friends, through relatives, uh, through organizations to reach people to say okay. please sponsor. Yes, as a matter of fact, organizations are also free to sponsor children. Okay. And, and in the process of sponsoring, uh, they can do all the physical uh, things in the orphanages and their names will be nicely inscribed. Okay. Like right now, one of the things that we have asked people for is vehicles to enable us to reach these orphanages mm -hmm. and of course we will uh, have the logos of the donors on the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So um, in addition to going online and indicating your interest, please when you see our letters mm -hmm. or you see any efforts from our side, please uh, uh, help offer to help us, mm -hmm. uh, offer to help the children. Okay. And of course we have excellent, wonderful directors, we have mm -hmm. 15 directors. Uh, and trustees, okay. and uh, they have been such help, such support, and through them mm. and their own contacts, so we have a lot of sponsors. Yes. Okay. So we're going to sidetrack a bit, right. and I have three questions that I like asking well, uh, guests. So at least three things. So imagine you're trapped on a deserted island, mm -hmm. and there's no electricity. electricity. No electricity. There's no water. It's just you on the island and you have to stay on that island for two weeks. You're only allowed to carry three items. Mm -hmm. What three items are you going to carry? Okay, well, the first thing is that there's no light. Yes. But at least there's daylight. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Bible. Perfect. I'm going to take my Bible. Okay. Um, I'm also, um, naturally, I, I wouldn't be naked. I'll have to take a, a clothes. Mm. Okay, we can, we can remove the clothes because you'll be wearing the clothes that... That you I, took that to the I, island. Okay. Mm. All right, fine. I'll take my Bible. Okay. I'll take a pen. Okay. And I'm going to take a piece of paper. Bible, pen, piece of paper. And the reason is the Bible, of course, you mm. know, I need a direction. Mm. The pen and the paper I would use to write what I hear mm. from the Lord within that period. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's very interesting answers. Okay, so what final words do you have to those at home? 
what message do you want to give them? Why is it important? Why is it important for them to help others? It's important because, and I'll, I'll just you know back up a little bit. Mm. In in a um, function that I, mm. I just had, uh, people were concerned. It's like things are very hard now. Why are you asking mm. us to give now? We mm. haven't even taken care of ourselves. Mm. And what I told them was that if it is hard for you that have shelter mm. that can feed yourself, it's harder for those who do not have anything. Mm, that's true. So, please give. Just give, because the Lord says we should give. Okay. We should give. So, reach out to the children, reach out to the, to, to the woman on the street, mm. and, and give, because as much as you give, the Lord will give back to mm -hmm. you. For those who cannot give financially, mm -hmm. how else can they help? We're asking for people to give us all kinds of things, different food items, mm. clothing, okay. to, to send across to these orphanages. Some of them are so pathetic when mm. you get there. So if you cannot give money, please give good quality physical items, okay. food and materials. Okay. And we are willing to come collect it. If you look onto our website, you will find out names and numbers you can use to just call us. We'll be happy to come and collect them for okay. the children. So all this information is going to be in the description where you can find out how you can contribute towards making a better country for all of us who are here, even including those who cannot afford the bare necessities of life. So thank you very much, Mr. Sorry.